Hey, average American, what's for breakfast? Hey, French toast? Well, you know, in France, it's pain perdu, or forgotten bread, and I'd say, you'd be better off for getting that mess. <laughs> you do know that a great French toast starts the night before, right? Well, maybe we should start all over and do it right. So, the night before, you'll cut your bread. Now, uh, any uh, kind of rustic round loaf will do. Some folks like uh, challah or chala, brioche or uh, plain old French bread. Sourdough happens to be my fave. Just make sure it's in half inch thick slices. It needs to be stale, so leave the slices in the rack of your oven overnight, but don't turn the oven on. All right, time to build the batter. Get yourself a big mixing bowl and uh, crack in three large chicken eggs. There you go. Next in, a cup of half and half for the dairy. That is now technically a custard. One quarter teaspoon of kosher salt goes in and a bit of uh, sweetness from two tablespoons of honey. I like orange blossom. Now just uh, whisk that until it's completely smooth. Uh, no stringiness from the eggs. That looks good. Now we're gonna let this basically mellow in the refrigerator overnight. So we'll need uh, sound containment. And try to make sure that it's a vessel that can hold the uh, pieces of bread comfortably. Get a lid on that and straight into the fridge. Now, um, the you know texture will definitely be better if this sits overnight, but there's another reason for doing this now. And that reason is you in the morning. I mean, look at this, this is a terrible display. How do you think you're gonna measure things at, at this point? You're not, of course, so do it before. Once you wake up, go ahead and crank up the uh, oven to 375 degrees. That'll be our finishing box. Soak each piece of bread on both sides for 30 seconds. Okay, so time 30 seconds. There you go, you're awake now. And then flip the bread. There you go, okay, flip the bread and do it again. Now you're gonna do this with each piece till they've all been soaked for 30 seconds on each side, okay? Then and only then can you move to the heat portion, all right? Uh, place a nonstick skillet over medium low heat and melt one tablespoon of butter. You're gonna need a, a pat of butter for every single batch you do, okay? Don't forget that. Uh, when the uh, butter is thoroughly melted, go ahead and add two pieces to the uh, pan. Of course, if you have smaller pieces of bread, you'll be able to get more in, but don't crowd the pan or you won't get a nice golden brown exterior. Cook for two to three minutes. Oh, and you're gonna need a, uh, yeah, set your timer, good. Get a spatula. There you go. Something nice and flexible and uh, that won't scratch up the pan. That's good, good. Now go ahead, scoop under, and give it, a, oh, look, at that's a nice job right there. But you're gonna have to flip so that you can manage the pan. Just get that, your dexterity's not so good, is it? Oh, there you go, that's not too bad. All right, another two to three minutes, give a check. Good, nice even browning time to get that into the oven. I return them just straight back to the rack, and yes, a pan underneath would be nice to catch any dripping butter. We're looking for about a five minute finish here, uh, then you'll want to, uh, to get them out and serve them. Good. Of course, serving, uh, you wanna do that with a lot of syrup. And if you're under the age of 10, teeth rattlingly sweet confectioner sugar. Now that is forgotten bread you'll never forget.